Hello everybody. So today is going to be a really short video. I just wanted to show you the VS Code extension that I have been using obsessively for the last few weeks. It's hard to say, but I was a PyCharm user. And now with uh, all of this, I feel like a traitor, you know, uh, like some kind of Judas or something. So the VS Code extension that I'm going to show you today is called CodeGPT. This is the web page where it describes all the uh, the AI assistants and etc and all the stuff related with the with the extension but let's get directly into VS Code and in the marketplace you can simply search for code GPT and you will need to install this uh, extension right here I have already installed it so so yeah yes go go ahead and, and install the extension in your VS Code Right after you install the VS Code extension, you will see this icon right here, this code GPT, and you can start interacting with your AI. But I guess that many of you uh, don't have any any AI installed in your local machine, and you don't have uh, any API connection for Grok, for example. So that's what I'm going to show you today, how to connect this VS Code extension with some cool LLMs without paying a single penny. That's the main objective of the of the video. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to connect this VS Code extension with Olama. Uh, we have already seen Olama in this channel. Uh, you just have to to go to the to the previous video in the in the channel, and you will see how we are using Olama for interacting and generating um, Arduino code. But uh, let me get to the web page. Olam is really, really easy to, to install and to, and to use. Basically, you just need to download the Olama uh, framework and then you just need to go to the, to the models and here just select what model do you want. In my case, I'm going to, to install the 8 billion parameters Llama 3 LLM. So let's go here and to install the model, you just need to pull to pull it uh, like this, Olama pool, Olama uh, three eight billions, and I have already installed this model locally, so it will be really fast. And then you can check that everything works as expected by running Olama run Llama three. Well, not Llama three, sorry, it's Llama three eight billions. And now you can start to interact it with uh, with the LLM, but that's not what we want. We want to connect this uh, Olama, the Olama Llama 3 8 billion parameters model to our VS Code extension to the code GPT. So simply click here, click in the code GPT and go to the Olama type of models. So we click here in the Olama and we select the Llama 3 8 billions. So now if we go to some part of the code, by the way, this is uh, the clone repository for the previous video about connecting Crew AI and Arduino. So maybe you find something familiar. And suppose I just want to, uh, I don't know, explain this code. Maybe uh, the normal workflow will be to copy and paste this code into ChatGPT, for example, and to ask questions about it. But now we can do the same, but without getting out of VS Code, staying inside. So uh, you simply click, right click, and you have different options in CodeGPT. In this case, we are going to explain the code. So this is going to connect with Olama and send the, the code that we have selected. And now Olama, uh, it's responding with a clear description of the, of the class of this tool right here. So yeah, you can see that it's uh, talking about the different attributes. Uh, it's talking about the RAM method, uh, etc. So it seems to be working pretty, pretty fine. But as you know, uh, the Llama 3 8 billions and the quantized version that we have in Olama may not be enough for some of your questions. So this is the, the cool thing, because uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Grok, with the inference engine, but with Croc, you can surf, you can interact with uh, CodeGPT. You can interact with uh, Llama 3, but the 7 billion parameters. I mean, there, there are other models, but uh, it's cool to, for the comparison. 
In Llama, we were using the Llama 3 8 billion parameters, and now we are going to use the Llama 3 70 billion parameters. So, if uh, for those of you who don't know anything about Croc, there's a lot of uh, very interesting documentation in the webpage uh, about the creators of Croc and also uh, what is the LPUs, uh, LPUs, inference engine that they are proposing. But basically, Croc is an inference engine tailored for LLM inference. I mean, it's specifically designed for LLM inference. And that's the reason for, for its speed, basically. But what we want right now is to generate an API key to get into GoGPT and start interacting with the Grok models. By the way, if you go to the Grok cloud, you will see different uh, models in here. Let me see here. In documentation, you go to the models and you will see all the available models in Grok. So as you can see, there are a lot of them. In our case, we are going to select the Llama 370 billion. So for that, you just need to go to the API keys and generate a new API key. My case, uh, that's the VS Code Copilot. And you just need to go back to the CodeGPT and here change the provider. This case is going to be Croc. We are going to select the Llama 370 billions. And now I'm just going to pause the video one second to input my, to copy and then paste my API key. Okay, so we are going to paste the API key. And here we go. It's connected to the Grog inference uh, engine. And now we can start asking more interesting things to the, to the AI assistant. So suppose now that we want to access some more interesting features from the, from the LLM. Uh, since we are dealing with a much more powerful LLM, we can ask some interesting stuff. Like, for example, help me refactor this uh, method right here. We can simply ask uh, CodeGPT to refactor the, the code. Okay, as you can see, we can simply insert the code back here. And we have a much cleaner way of, um, of programming this, this method right here. Although the indentation is not uh, completely okay. But yeah, a minor problem. And, and yeah, and you can, I mean, keep asking the same thing, like, uh, what is this? Uh, explain this fix in a file to me. And it provides a much more detailed and thorough uh, ex explanation compared to the Llama, to the Olama version, as you, as you can say. Like, for example, look at this. This is really cool because uh, it has uh, realized that I'm using some regular expressions right here. And, and yeah, and it explains the different uh, syntax that is going to capture this, this regular expression. So that's, that's really cool. And, and yeah, I mean, there are a lot of possibilities, to be honest. And this uh, extension, it's improving a lot my development workflow. So yeah, that's everything for today. I already told you that it was going to be a, a really short video, but I hope it, uh, it was useful to you. So let me know if you, if you find the CodeGPT VS Code extension attractive. So I think that's everything. And yeah, typical YouTuber stuff. Uh, subscribe if you haven't and click the like button. And I guess I'll see you in the next video.